Hi Aquarius and welcome to your monthly reading. I hope you're all doing really well. This reading is for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus sign Aquarius. If your Sun sign does not resonate as much this month, you might like to check out your Moon sign or your Rising sign and for Love and Romance, your Venus sign. As often these readings contain messages which are important to you at this time. Let's call in your angels and guides, spirit and source energy, guidance for Aquarius, please, spirit, guidance for Aquarius, guidance for Aquarius, guidance and messages for Aquarius. This is a general reading, so please take what resonates for you personally and just leave the rest. There are going to be many different messages that come through with this reading, so just take what resonates for you. Remember to check in with your own intuition throughout the reading, and if anything stands out in the cards, that's an important message from Spirit. An image on the card, message on the card. It's way of Spirit, it's Spirit's way of bringing through a message, some guidance, an answer to a question perhaps. Guidance for Aquarius, please, Spirit. Guidance for Aquarius. If you like the content, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Let me know you like it. Press the subscribe button if you would like to. The notification bell. I really love and appreciate you all so very much for all of your support on my channel. Your energy and the energy around you for the month, Aquarius. So let's take a look at... Your first card, we have the frying pan symbol, trouble, accusations. There may be some accusations flying around. Maybe they're already starting to fall upon you. There may be some tension in a relationship. There may be some trouble brewing that you're not aware of. Let's take a look at the next card, Aquarius. There's a fair woman dealing a relationship with a woman with blonde, gray or white hair. This may be you if it resonates if it resonates for you, this is an aspect of yourself, but it may actually be um, the person that you're dealing with that you're having trouble with. It's a feminine energy. And if that's the case, I feel that you're going to, you're going to be well aware of how to deal with this. This may not be the first time that you've dealt with this sort of uh, issue, maybe with this person. I feel that you already knew that this would happen. It's not really out of the blue. It's not really It's not really something that you're thinking is not going to occur. So I feel you have your suspicions about this person already. Happiness and well-being. This is always a really great card to come up, of course. You're taking care of yourself, looking after number one, your well-being mentally, emotionally and physically is of utmost importance to you and happiness is falling upon you this month as well. So it looks like you're going to have a satisfactory outcome here. Like I was feeling, you're going to know what to do and you're going to have happiness come down upon you once again. You have the energy of the heart, love, deep affection and caring. So there's going to be a rekindling of romance for some of you. This means that you're going to be starting a new relationship for others. And this may be romantic, but it doesn't have to be romantic for some of you. This is going to come in uh, toward you as a friendship or uh, someone that uh, is more of a platonic relationship. And we have the symbol of the jug, lighthearted, carefree time. So you might be taking some time off work or just out of your usual busyness or routine, whatever that is. I feel that you are going to enjoy yourself this month. Um, there is some something going on with a person in your life here, which seems to be maybe an ongoing problem. But ultimately, you've got some beautiful, beautiful, heartfelt connections happening here, happiness and well-being is around you. So I love that energy. Let's take a look at this card here. Savings. As you consistently save for your future, your future is saved. You do your future self a big favor as you consistently set aside present funds. 
This is a part of your self-care and path to feeling secure as you focus upon your life purpose. So you may be focusing on savings or your financial situation this month. Looks like you're going to be growing into abundance in some way, shape or form in your life, whether it is through savings, financial matters or otherwise. So I really like the care and attention that this card brings into your life. There is temptation around you. Are you in denial about an unhealthy habit? Perhaps one that makes you feel guilty. This fairy says you have the power to overcome temptation, whatever its guise. So you will overcome. That was the message that Spirit gave me when I pulled this card up. You will overcome temptation here. Whatever this is, whether it's an addiction, whether it's a codependency, whether it's a... Um, whether it's something that you've been regularly indulging in, whatever that may be for you, you're going to be aware of it, you're looking at it uh, close up, you're scrutinizing it, and you're going to be moving on from this. But it will come up and tempt you. Crystal protection, crystal energy. Archangel Michael is leading you to a protective crystal to wear or work with. You might be feeling drawn to a particular crystal to work with this month if this is your thing. There is protective energy from spirit and the angels around you as well. There's reward for your efforts. The Ten of Cups. The effort energy put into something is going to pay off Aquarius. And I feel that you would, you ultimately knew that this was going to happen or you know that it's going to happen, that you will get rewarded for your efforts. You may have to go through some difficult things to get where you want to go, but you're really going to be putting your best foot forward uh, this month. You really are. The Ten of Cups is a happiness card. It means that you're going to have some wonderful get together social interactions with family or friends. There's an energy here of being very satisfied and content in relationships. So whatever's going on over here, it's not really going to affect you on a deep level. It's going on because it's come up in the reading, but not on a deep emotional level. You also, because it's a 10 and numerologically it's a 1, you might actually be moving into a new cycle with someone in a relationship or in your life in some area. You're stepping into a newness, into something, a new experience. The five of wands, you're grounding your energy, being very connected to self, being connected to your higher self, your body, what's going on around you situationally. Very grounded and aware of this. It's going to serve you well. The five of wands can mean that there is a battle of egos happening. There may be some tension between you and another person this month because of their ego getting in the way, maybe it's to do with this temptation. It could actually be in relation to you and this temptation here. So just be aware of that. The chariot is Cancer's card, so you may have a Cancer around you, significant in some way in your life. So this is a really nice energy for moving forward in the right direction, taking back control of your life in some aspect, recognizing the pros and the cons of a situation, making choices, that are, that are significant, but also you're staying true to you. You're really moving in the right direction here, moving into rewards. So you've been working at something for some time. You're going to get a payoff here. You've been very grounded in reality. You haven't been off with the fairies. You haven't been daydreaming. You haven't been, you know, you've, you've been sticking the course. And that really does uh, speak to savings or... Thinking of the future, thinking of your future. Tradition, the Ten of Discs. You've got two of the best uh, cards here. Well, ten of Cups, Ten of Discs. So materially, what you're wanting to manifest will come through. There is an abundance of um possessions or financial things happening here for you it's coming in this month or sometime very soon there's going to be a reward perhaps financially 
or materially uh, in your life. You may also be moving into a new energy when it comes to work, when it comes to um, what you do, what your routine is, you're moving into a new you. Um, and there's tradition as well. So traditional things are important this month for you specifically, Aquarius. And the sun, what a vibrant, beautiful energy. You're moving into some good times here. It seems like with all of these cards and energies, Aquarius, you're really moving into a better you, a better situation financially or um, emotionally. Yes, emotionally because we have cups. You're really looking at temptation and difficulties in the eye. You're not shying away from them. You're standing strong, even though there may be some tensions around you. You really are um, very conscious and aware of how to protect yourself moving forward and to get clear of any drama or significant trouble. The sun is out in the open. It is warmth, happiness, fulfillment, contentment, being known and recognized for your efforts. So you've got some really great things coming up for you this month, Aquarius. Deep down, you knew that this energy is going to happen or was going to happen. I really feel that. So your intuition has been spot on and spirit wants to confirm that to you, that your intuition has been spot on all this time. I hope you have a wonderful month ahead and I will talk to you all again soon.